two, one and two. That's a really sweet little tune called the Claire Reel. And this tune uses the G pentatonic scale almost exclusively, a couple sneaky little uh, C naturals in there. So if you're not familiar with the G pentatonic scale, that will help you a lot. I'll play it here and explain it a little bit. So. We are just going to use the three upper strings of the violin, the A, uh, the D, A, and the E string. And the notes in the pentatonic scale, the easiest way to think about it at first is just you're using your first and your third finger, okay, on the D and the A strings. So. notes there would be D, E, G, A, B, D, but really the tune is going to center on G, so we're going to extend it up to the E string, uh, all the way up to the note e, uh, G. So we'll end up using two more notes on the E string, E and G, so our second finger will come into play on the, on the E string. So it's open one three, open one three, open two on the E string, so... it to do the full two octaves they'll be B A G on the G string we don't actually use those in this particular tune but it's just good to know that the scale really is mo more centered on G okay the pentatonic scales are a little tricky because their harmonies are really different from a normal major scale they all kind of go together so sometimes it's it's harder to tell where the center of the scale is but we are in G Okay, so the full scale would be G, A, B, D, E, or Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La, Do, Do, La, Sol, Mi, Re, Do. That's the full scale in two octaves, okay? So this tune is gonna start on, on the D string. So we'll start, there are some little C's in there, that's the only note not in that scale, but once we break it down, I'm sure it'll make a lot of sense. So starting here. I'll do that again. I really recommend singing the tune if you're not familiar with it. It helps get it into your head way faster, and then it won't be so hard to get it into your fingers if you know it by ear. So here we go again from the beginning. I'll play one phrase, and then you can sing it back to me. Right? 
Now what I'll do is I'll play one phrase and then you can play it back to me. And I'll repeat, or I'll repeat each phrase twice. Phrase one. And again. Phrase two. And again. Phrase three. Play through the whole A part now, nice and slowly, without stopping. One and two. As I was playing that, I realized there's something different about phrase three, and I, I uh, made a mistake. So the third phrase is almost the same as the first phrase. When I just played it and sang it, I played it the same. The first phrase starts on the G. The third phrase comes is coming down from the C, so it's going to go B, A, G is the pickup instead of G, E, G. That's the that's the uh, the first phrase and then the third phrase. I'll do that again. You can see the difference. Phrase one, phrase three from a B, but then it's the same. So one more time. Phrase one from the G. Phrase two. Why not? Phrase three. So that should be clear now, almost exactly the same. Now, moving on to the second part. Again, there's a lot of re repetitive stuff in here, and it uses this lovely G pentatonic scale. I did one too many notes. Those overlap in kind of a funny way, but I think I'll do it that same way again. So, from the G. Let's just break down that kind of jumpy part. It's a little bit tricky, easy to get lost there. So from the G, go straight up. And then, again. It's, if you've ever done thirds in a classical music setting, it's a lot like doing thirds right there, except it's a pentatonic scale instead of a major scale. So you're going up one, or up two. Not exactly, but that's the pattern. Something like that. So it's not exactly like thirds, but it's close. Okay, from the G. And that B, I would almost call it the beginning of the second phrase, but it's also sort of the end of the first phrase. So starting again on that B. And again. And again. Now again, uh, the, this is very, very similar to the A part. We come back around to the beginning of, the, of this phrase, but we come now from above. So instead of going from the G the second time, we come from the B. So it's the same except for that first note. So again, here's the first phrase from a G. And then the third 
third phrase is the same thing, but you start on a B. same way so from the uh, from this B that's the fourth phrase okay I'll play now through this uh, B part without stopping so you can see how that all fits together from the G one and two time I just left the pickup out and went straight to the A. I'll try to put in that B pickup for the third phrase this time. One and G. that if you did learn something from this go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel I put out a lot of educational videos I have a fiddle class here in Forest Grove where I live and I also teach orchestra so got a lot of mostly fiddle tunes on my channel but I love um, just like hearing people learning tunes around the world so let me know if you're learning this tune I would really just love to chat with you below and um, thank you for being a great student and I'll talk to you guys soon peace out